Okay guys, um, was out yesterday with NI Survival, great day, you'll see the vids going up, uh, out today, uh, Sunday, staying overnight, took Monday off work so that me and Jade can have a wee overnighter. If you just show, Jade's behind the camera, so say hi Jade. Hiya. Just pan around and let everybody see where we're staying. This is going to be the view from our bedroom tonight. Uh, we're not staying. Oh, we're not sleeping in a tent, we've just got a uh, sleep systems bed rolls that we'll show you later. But uh, this is where we're going to set up camp. Now, something that has been discussed on Twitter, but hasn't yet made it to YouTube for the slagging really to begin, is uh, my new purse, man bag, utility bag that uh, I bought on eBay. Um, Mr. Fermana Man and Sandy um, both thought that uh, they would have a lot of... Uh, a bit of a joke at my expense about my new custom handmade leather all day carry bag uh, which I now carry as a wee fire kit bag um, but apparently Ray Mears is bringing one out after the bear got one what can I say trendsetter guys uh, I'm sure there'll be lots of comments in below about the uh, custom hand stitched bag feel free to slag but until I get those comments me and Jade are going to have a good overnight or so catch you later the problem when you take girls camping Okay, we're going to take a wee bit of a better look at this uh, man bag of mine um, It is, it's from a company Crazy Horse Leather um, Yes, it was sold on eBay as the description of Bushcraft Stroke um, Ladies bag okay I'm putting it out there guys I'm, I'm burying my soul here so um, it's 100% leather um, softer in the inside than the, the out uh, straps just about the right size I'm gonna put a couple more holes on it just to give me a wee bit more room if I'm carrying it with more clothing on not that I run around the woods naked but you know what I'm saying here okay so we've got the bag simple leather design um, don't know whether this will be the final carry or not but what I've got in it so far the first thing you find in the bag is a inside pocket where I have put my Hudson Bay tin which is will all be aware of solar ignition um, inside I have some jute twine and a bag with char cloth um, just to give me an ignition source um, Northern Hemisphere um, Northern Ireland solar ignition don't know uh, I haven't done it yet we'll see if I do I'll let you know yeah it's more of a um, a beauty novelty item but the the authenticity of it it's the brass it's the the old Hudson Bay tobacco tin um, it's one of those iconic bushcraft uh, containers for carrying your, your fire source, your, your charred materials and so you know I thought it would be nice to have along with the traditional bag what else have I managed to slip in um, ongoing project uh, just a wee spoon I started carving the last time I was out um, very simplistic in design I'm just working away on it so I keep it in there later on hopefully I'll get a wee bit of time to work on that um, we plastic bag with more char cloth. Um, the old reliable Zippo. I mean, if you can, why not? And it's the bear. We have to get the bear in. Uh, also stuck in a waterproof notepad journal. Um, something that I wouldn't really do. I'm not. I'm not a scholar. I'm not really. A studious person but now that I'm spending more times out more time out with the guys from NI survival and more time out in the woods I try to jot down um, because it's a really good pro process um, of learning and my DC3 for sharpening up the knife and that's all that's really in there you know I mean it's not gonna it's not a survival kit okay it's just a nice wee bag to carry into the woods uh, to have a few items that if I wanted to have um, a wee bit of a fire while I was out whittling wood my knife's always on me so I'm going to be able to so there we go the man bag off eBay 
Um, it retails apparently over a hundred pound. I picked it up for less than ten. For less than ten pound, I've got a one hundred percent genuine um, leather bag, which I think has a nice, authentic look to it. I don't know whether it was a second or not. I don't care. Um, I'm not going to be taking it down any catwalks in Paris. I'm taking it into the woods, and it will serve me well. So, just now with that done, I'm going to give you a quick wee look at camp so far. Okay, so this is our location that G had panned around earlier. And we've stuck a tarp up, and there's the princess. Jade, what are you eating? Jade's on the wild garlic. We've heard that there's vampires in the woods. <laughs> so she's stocking up on garlic. Um, so Jade is in a military mark, military mart um, Dutch sleep system. Um, which was bought, I think, it was very, very cheap. I can't remember the full price. But it wasn't an, an expensive item at all. She has brought her sleeping bag with her just in case it gets cold tonight. But we will uh, wait and see. It's quite warm now. I'm in the Australian swag um, from Winchester Camp and Adventure. Please look up Winchester Camp and Adventure. Um, look up Kevin. Very good guy. Top quality equipment. Um, top quality service. I can't say enough good about the guy. I have a new backpack on the way from him soon, hopefully. And uh, just another addition to my already <laughs> too heavy kit. But you know what we're like, guys. We like our toys. So this is us for now. Uh, just a simple tarp in between two trees. I find a cool bug. You find a cool bug. Are we going to eat him? No. Okay. Um, tarp up between two trees, sleep systems on the ground and surrounded by some beautiful Northern Ireland woodland. Catch you later. Okay guys, still at camp and we've gone all tactical um, with a nice wee bit of a Debris barrier. We're gonna strike up a match soon or get some tinder going, get the wee cook area sorted out. Jade's been processing away at plenty of wood and uh, she's now off. You can see her in her tactical pink. <laughs> Jade, what are you doing? I'm gonna put some peanut butter out. And why are you putting peanut butter out? Who do you hope to attract? Okay, so we're looking to see if any wildlife are interested in a midnight snack. I think that's enough there. Okay, maybe save some peanut butter for us. <laughs> so we'll see whether we have any visitors come in the middle of the night and enjoy the, the peanut butter delight. But uh, you can just see the debris barrier, uh, fire break going to be in there to just sort of keep... That's a wee bit more heading. We're going tactical. Tactical like Tom. We're going to get lost in the woods. Maybe. Or maybe not. Okay guys, bye.